Well, good opening 38. Should have been more. It's not nice to go back to your seat on a miss. Get the feeling that the best is still to come in this tournament from Robertson. He had to battle to get past old adversary Graham Dot in a decider, then blitz to Wang Yushen in under an hour. And although he did beat Oliver Lyons comfortably last night, he wasn't at his best. He missed a few. He missed a match ball at one stage, but was never seriously threatened. Oli was well below his best, so he'll look to crank it up. Now we've got to the quarterfinals, but of course, like all great players, that's what they tend to do. Now, where's this red going to finish? Not good for Pang. He got so close to the pot, didn't he? Now, Neil Robertson needs to get those reds open as quickly as possible. He's got three reds available at the moment. Unless there's a plant there. One. Could go into them this time. I mean, he may very well want to get his arm going. Pot a few balls first. <clears throat> Didn't play that one particularly well. But he's got the one over Eight. the pocket if he doesn't fancy this one. There's that possible plant I was talking about. Nine. <clears throat> Just trying to work out where the pink would go takes the pink it looks like the spots held <coughs> Julian Bell is our referee today Twenty-three. Just stuck to the pink. <clears throat> and snookered as a result by the looks of things. gone any worse could it and not straightforward if he gets this wrong he leaves the red on
Neil Robertson, 23. Well, he played it pretty good. They got the speed right. But has he covered the red to the middle? Plenty of pressure on this one. Yeah, there was plenty of pressure on it. It was a frame winner, had it gone in. Well, it could have been. The second one he's missed into that pocket in this frame. Initially broke down on 38. This red is on in the yellow pocket. Yeah, it's chances like that, though, that you've got to take if you're going to beat these top players. It was nicely on the black. He's caught it too thin and a gift for Pang. One that you feel he's got to take. Got to punish the mistakes. How do you overcut those type of shots? Yeah, made sure of getting the cue ball out of the balk area. And now Neil Robertson knows that this frame's out of his hands. Doesn't need the safe red on the right side cushion. So, 20 points in the game. Five. Thinking three shots ahead. The red to the middle. He's given himself. Position on the black, he's given himself. Perfect. There's two reds just above the pink. I think we'll go to the right corner. Certainly one of them will. Going for a second Home Nation semi-final appearance, Pang. Having got this far at the Welsh Open last year, losing to Sean Murphy. like he could play for one of the Reds. Obviously not, otherwise he would have done. 30. Just looking to see if the pink will go. But it wouldn't be a problem to pull back for the black. Good pot. 14. Never. Was a good pot from Pang, but he's going to need another one. <coughs> this is his third scoring opportunity in this first frame. 35 in front. Twenty-one. Very good. Yeah, that was missable for sure. 
That tells me he's settled down a little. So he's going to need another red. And then any colour. Oh, but he's missed the pink. Goodness me. Well, three chances, 59 points. That's not going to get it done today against Neil Robertson, you would think, for Pank. Plenty still for Robertson to do. One of the reds, awkward on the side cushion, but Pang knows he should have killed this frame off by now. Well, he's going to get another chance. It's a sign of good temperament, though, isn't it, that he was able to regroup and pot that red so emphatically. So this is the key ball. Yeah, he can this, get on the red. This is different, isn't it? He only needs the black. Before, he needed another red because he was taking the pink. <coughs> Eight. Still wants this in, though, to make sure of the frame. But what a great red that was, having missed the pink in the way he did. And it's there. That makes no. absolutely sure, doesn't it? The blue to bring the other red into play. But, yeah, a couple of good shots there from Pank. This is a frame that he had to win, really, given the chances that he'd had. 40. But to win it in the way he has, with that brilliant long red, having missed the short-range pink, bodes well for Pang jung -Zhu. He clearly is possessed of a very stable temperament. Han jung 40. Frame conceded. Frame and Neil Robertson remains in his chair, 50 behind with only 35 left. So, advantage the underdog. Pang leads. 
second frame, and Neil Robertson to break. A packed house in one of the finest venues on the snooker tour. The Waterfront Hall, Belfast. The first frame has come and gone on quarterfinals day, and it's gone the way of Pang Jung Ju. He needed four scoring opportunities, but in the end, it was a great long red, having missed an easy pink that got him over the line, effectively. First to five for a place in the semi-finals. Neil Robertson is going for his 52nd ranking semi-final appearance. Already the English Open champion this season. And the winner will play the winner of our next quarter-final here on table one. A blockbuster indeed between Mark Williams and Kyron Wilson, although, as was mentioned by the guys in the studio, extraordinarily, Wilson has won all six. And in five of those meetings, he has an aggregate frame score of 24-3. Their only close one coming in this tournament in the quarter-finals. You couldn't make that up, could you? If somebody had have asked you that and you didn't know. 24 point uh, frames to three. Wow. And then this evening on table one, another match to savour. Judd Trump against Sean Murphy, both of whom have played superbly this week. And on table two, it'll be Louis Heathcote and Elliot Slesser on Discovery Plus. say that Dean Robertson doesn't really want to get involved in long bouts of safety. That's not his game. But at the moment, he's got no choice but to play it. Somebody plays a good safety shot, what choice have you got? Got to try and play one back, and that's a good one. Let's give him Pang something to think about. Important part in that shot was getting that cue ball back to the Bork area. He was in a bit of trouble there, there's no mistake in that. And he's played it pretty good. No easy safety shot. There is a safety shot return to Bork, but there's the arena down to just one table this afternoon. Terrific arena. Everybody sings its praises. And a packed house, which is great to see. Adds to the atmosphere for the players. As I said, you know, that was a pretty good safety <coughs> from Pang. Yes, he went for the pot, but he concentrated on getting the cue ball screwing the cue ball back to Bork. Tough shot. And of course, the red that he attempted could have gone anywhere, couldn't it? And that left Neil Robertson with just a containing safety shot. <coughs> Doesn't really want to play those tab of shots because it's easy to put your opponent back in trouble again. Pot on. Got 
very close to it uh, as he left a red to the middle. I thought, if you're going to play that shot, you've got to play it so that you've got the green to the middle. You don't leave anything then, but by playing for the green to the corner, he's left a chance at this red to the middle. Do with a kiss. <coughs> now he's going to try and do what he does best score heavy. He finished with a century against Ollie Lyons last night. Five reds just above the black. He'd like to be able to play a cannon to those reds at some stage, and if he can get onto the black, finish low on the black, could go into those reds and develop them. <clears throat> Eleven. Great break build up, approaching a thousand century breaks in his career. 155 he's made at the moment and that's just about right to be able to disturb those five reds and create a frame winning chance oh he's missed the black 12 incredible that's all he had to do roll it in he'd split the reds nicely Surprise for sure. Didn't really get close. Overcut it by a distance. As mentioned, although on the face of it, 4 1 last night was very comfortable for Robertson. He wasn't at his best or anywhere close. He did enough. Oh, Ollie Lines had his chances, didn't he? For sure. And he took them against Mark Allen. What? Right, take them. Robertson, as we see that long red going. Tough pot, but up to the task. He is a terrific potter, Pang, as he proved with that red in the previous frame, but that doesn't look too great. Well, that's a, a real wasted chance, isn't it? You'd expect him to win the frame from there, but he's overrun his positional play by quite a lot. At least eight to nine inches. So you've got to make the top players pay, and he hasn't done that. Got to wait for another chance now. Eight. He picks the good safety, though, for sure. <coughs> no easy path back to Bork.
this time. Didn't get the cue ball close enough to the ball cushion. Left an easy safety return. Neil Robertson. A good pace. Well, when you play off the pack of reds thick like that, the reds could go anywhere. And that was a misjudgment, that. And, uh, hang. Another chance for Robertson. It was a really good opportunity for Pang to punish Robertson for missing the black. But he broke down almost immediately with a poor positional shot. And now he's given Robertson the chance to establish himself in this match. It's been a slightly indifferent opening from the former world champion. But how long will that last? We know he's in good form. Yeah, he needs to get going, though. Because you don't really settle till you've put your name on the board. And that's a wonderful positional Six. shot. Playing for the red just above the black. And that will free the black into both pockets. Seven. The importance of playing for the correct red. And that's what he did straight away there. It was a tough positional shot that he played. But he got it spot on. And now he's in full control of this frame. He's opened it up with one shot. Normally, he played for the red that's on the cushion near the right corner. But the red, just to the right of the black there, is stopping him getting back onto the black. So he didn't really want to play this red, but when he removes it, it 40. makes it easier to play for the black next time round. Well, that wasn't the best positional shot. Well shot being the right side of the blue. couldn't have picked it up and put it any better by a distance the best shot that Robertson's played 21. so far this afternoon to get himself right back in prime position <coughs> yeah I would have liked to have played for this red last time round but 28. The other red was making it difficult to play onto the black. No such problem now. 29. A little short. May have to play the cannon to the red just below the pink.
Played it well. 36. So many incentives for Robertson this week in Northern Ireland. Of course, he's very motivated to win this title and complete the set of home nations, but he's also thinking about a seeding for the 37. upcoming UK Championship. Right now, he occupies the 16th and final spot in that regard with the International Championship to come before the cutoff in Nanjing early next month. So every point he can accrue is vital with that in mind to ensure he doesn't have to go through 43. qualifying. 44. There's the Masters beyond that as well, of course. So a lot to play for for Robertson. And Pang will reflect on the chance he had after Robertson. 50. Missed the black to the right corner. 51. Ran out of position and then played a loose safety, really, leaving Robertson an early in once again. Straightforward red, and he settled into his stride. And that could be bad news for Pang. Fifty eight. Fifty nine. Yeah, he needed this frame to win it like this. Such a classic in Robertson. And as Philip said, once he gets stride, he takes some stopping. Very confident. Sixty four. Looking to make another century. Sixty five. Seventy two hundred and fifty five at the moment, getting closer <coughs> to that thousand mark. John Higgins and Judd Trump have both joined that very exclusive club, of course, this season, alongside Ronnie O'Sullivan. Only three players in the history of our game so far. Two. 73. And it was that superbly struck blue when he landed short in and out of Bork perfectly on the red that was the key to this break for Neil Robertson. 78. Eighty. Yeah, and you're dead right, Philip. Pang will be kicking himself, not punishing Neil Robertson for that missed black off the spot. Not least because Robertson was struggling a little bit to that point. He'd made a few mistakes. 87. He hadn't settled, but now he well and truly has. 92. Well, that frame's gone now, and he's got to get that out of his mind as he watches Neil Robertson 90. make this marvellous century. The 17th of this season. Neil Robertson doesn't much back into gear, and that was a break of the highest class. 105 to level the quarter final at one all. So we'll reflect on the first couple of frames, and Pang eventually getting over the line in the first, but he needed a few chances to do it. Yeah, this was a particularly good shot, wasn't it? Left a nice angle on the black, but this pink was showing signs that he was feeling the nerves a little. But quickly, he got that miss out of his, out of 
his mind when he was faced with this long red to the corner. Wow, what a shot this was to win the frame effectively. Just needed the black. That was to make absolutely sure of the match. Yes, and into frame two, this missed black off the spot from Robertson really offered up a, a, a real chance for Pang, but after the initial good red, he failed to make good position on the next red from the black. This was such a poor positional shot, and in the end, it cost him the frame, because he should have won the frame from there. And then this safety shot, catching it much too thick, pushing a red over the corner pocket, inviting Neil Robertson for that century break. Played some very good positional shots, this especially. Perfectly onto the black, but again, this blue, in and out of ball, coming back down the table, finishing on this red absolutely perfectly. <laughs> Couldn't have picked it up and placed it any better. And now he was getting his mojo. So we'll take a look at the match stats after a couple of frames, and it's looking a lot healthier now for Robertson with that superb century clearance of 105, including that brilliant recovery pot on the blue. Pang's pot success clearly has to rise dramatically. He won the first frame, but he needed four scoring opportunities, and, of course, he missed a big chance early in that second to punish the Robertson Miss Black. So he'll need to raise his game if he's to win today. Robertson now into his stride. Can he kick on from here? Frame three, Pang Jung Su to break. One frame apiece. Neil Robertson striking some of his best form in that second frame after a slightly nervy beginning for him. 105. First to five to go through. And play either Mark Williams or Kyron Wilson. They will follow this match. This evening, Judd Trump against Sean Murphy from seven o'clock. UK time. The players will be walking on. Rachel and the team will have the build-up at 6.45, of course. And on table two on Discovery Plus, you can watch Louis Heathcote, who potted some tremendous balls last night on his way to his second quarter-final against Elliot Slesser. He's in now, his eye is in, he's in the groove. Yeah, it wasn't a good break-off, was it, from Pang? And as Philip said, he's got his eye <clears throat> Black tied up for the moment. Pink available. Three. Julian Bell replacing the pink. Thank you. Ten. Got to get it absolutely dead right. Now, can he bring the black into play? Not sure if he can now. Eleven. 
can always tell when a player's found his form. That cue ball goes where it's told. And that was absolutely spot on for the blue. Now, into the reds. Well, he's OK, actually. In fact, he's more than OK. 16. He could be on a red that would allow him to play the cannon next to the black, to the red next to the black. Bring the black into play. He could play that shot. It's a delicate little shot. He doesn't have to play it, of course. He could play down for the blue. It's just a choice that he's got. 70. And thought better of it. So again, he could go into the reds here. Try and bring the pink into play. Might even bring the black into play. Again, doesn't have to. Are the reds he could play for? And now he's brought the pink into play. 22. Very attacking shot. A lot of players would have played for the loose reds. Many people at home would have played for the loose reds. But not this man. Wants to get them open. 23. And the frame won. Many times, Neil Robertson has talked about the need for him to impose his game on his opponent because he is one of the greatest break builders and arguably the greatest long potter of all time. But there have been times, even though he's talked about that, when he has got embroiled in safety battles. And of course, he's good at the safety, but that's not his strongest 20. suit. But he's threatening to really impose himself now on Pang. 29. And it just shows you the importance of the break off. 35. All Pang has done is break off, but he caught the reds thin. Cue ball coming nearly back out of Bork again. And this is the result. 36. Any time that Robertson has his hand on the table to address a long pot, his opponent has cause for concern, and that's proved to be the case in this frame. Well, he took his time over the shot. But eventually, he ran out of position. He was trying to find a very fine gap there to either finish on the pink to the middle or the right corner. So just a safety and pushing the yellow safe, I would imagine. Really, you expected him to win the frame Neil Robertson, there. Neil Robertson, 42. Neil Robertson. <laughs> so 
second thought, though. And put hanging. in trouble here. Looks like he snookered on all reds, most of which are nicely out in the open. Maybe he can just get the edge of the red. Yeah, got to be very careful. The cue ball going close to that corner pocket. He catches it just a touch too thick. Foul. A miss. Neil Robertson. could see that it could just about see the red. And we've got very close to it. Do you want to fetch it up, Rob? Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks fine. Yeah. This red, it's going over the left corner for a chance. <clears throat> now, how important can that yellow prove to be? Easiest of tables, those three reds surrounding the black look to be in unpotable positions. Maybe a plant there. He's had a look at them. Seven. So just 39 points, the difference. And there's a cage for saying that it's Pang who's favourite in this frame right now. It was looking as though Robertson might follow his century with another one until he lost position. 13. And took on the long red after he thought clearly that he'd snookered Pang on all reds. Pang hitting it at the second attempt thin. 
And now this chance to re-establish himself because there was just a danger that Robertson might power away after the way in which he won frame two. Yeah, he's got the angle to disturb those three reds or play for the plant if it's there. He thinks it's a plant, unless the red, the loose red, goes to the left corner. And if it does, it 20. opens the other two. It does go. And that will open the other two reds up. What a chance. Just 26 points behind. Now, I may have to play the cannon to those two reds because he hasn't got the best angle on the black. Gone pretty good. Twenty-eight. That's if the red passes the black. Oh, that's tight, isn't it? Doesn't look as though it goes from there, but he's right behind the shot. Twenty-nine. Thirty-six. Significance of that yellow that Robertson pushed into a safer spot, having run out of position, becomes ever greater. Yeah, 37. it's not exactly safe, is it? He dropped right behind the yellow there for a right-handed player. It's OK. This red is all important. Got to finish nicely on the red, and he couldn't have played that any better. That's a great positional shot. 43. And I said right at the very beginning of this frame, there's a case for him being favourite. Forty-four. Yeah, that's OK. He's just got to dodge the blue. Get him to the yellow. <coughs> yeah, just a fraction too hard for comfort. He's going to need the rest. Three inches slower. And it would have been straightforward, this yellow. He's missed the only time as Robertson watches on a little anxiously that he's used the rest so far, Pang. Naught from one, but what a big shot this is. What a steal it would be. The momentum that Robertson was building up can be halted in a significant way here if Pang can dispatch this yellow. Yeah, well, there's two ways of playing it. He could just drop it in. 
or he could play it with stun and screw, try and come the other side of the brown. Good shot. Good shot. Not ideal on the save, but it's going to take a brave shot just to drop this in dead weight. Yeah, I did say 52. it's going to take a brave shot. He shouldn't have missed it, should he? And what a gift, Neil Robertson. What a relief for Robertson and what disappointment for Pang. It looked as though he'd overcome the most difficult hurdle with that excellent yellow with the rest. But he's overcut the green. Never easy, these type of shots, so I said he, he needed to drop it in dead weight. And the cue ball can just roll off slightly before it gets to the green. And maybe that's what happened. Three. Yeah, that's not the best positional shot in the world. Needs brown, blue and pink for a 2-1 lead. This isn't easy. It's going to take a good shot to get to the blue from there. Seven. Leaving himself a long blue. So everybody in the place knows that this is missable. Dramatic frame, but Robertson once again showing his prowess from long range under pressure. Brilliant pot. 18. Pang had the chance to steal it. Knocked in a great yellow with the rest, but then missed the green. Robertson showing his mettle with that long range blue, and he does eventually take a two frames to one lead. Well, plenty happening in that frame, and it was a loose break initially from Pang that let Robertson in for the initial chance. Yeah, catching the reds a little bit too thin. And these are just bread and butter shots to Neil Robertson. Another very attacking shot from Neil. Splitting the reds open and finishing nicely on the red to the left corner. Again, into the reds, trying to develop them, win the frame at this physic. But that was a shot, a positional shot that went wrong. Had to play a safety, took the long red on and left the red over the pocket for Pang. And didn't he play them well right up until the green? What a good cannon. To the reds to leave him nicely on the red. Great positional shot this for the red to the left middle. And then took the risk on hitting the blue. Just missed it. Didn't get ideal on the yellow, but he played a, a very, very good yellow with the rest. To leave himself nicely on the green. One that you would expect him to pot. Because he had to play it so slowly, the cue ball could have drifted slightly before it got to the green. But what a good blue this was. To leave himself an easy pink for the frame. 
Yes, it was a terrific long blue from Neil Robertson. This is the role of honour, and of course, every winner of this tournament dating back to 2016 is a left-hander. Judd Trump has practically owned the event, hasn't he? Three consecutive titles at the expense of O'Sullivan, all 9-7 in the final, and then again against Chris Wakelin, 9-3. 12 months ago, in between Mark Allen winning back-to-back -back against John Higgins in a decider, and then Zhou Yulong from 4-1 down to win 9-4. Of course, Mark King winning an emotional inaugural Northern Ireland Open in a decider against Barry Hawkins. Mark Williams winning as a precursor to his third World Championship. A big clearance for Neil Robertson. He would have feared the worst Thank when you, he saw the yellow go in, Neil having Robertson's dominated the early part of the frame. But what a steely blue that was from long range to kill it off after Pang had missed the green. So Robertson 2-1 up, now looking to forge a two-frame cushion at the interval. Five, of course, is the target for a place in the semi-finals. Just their third meeting all over the best of nine frames, one win apiece. Their previous two both in the European Masters. The February version for Pang most recently in 2022, the September version for Robertson back in 2020. So what has Pang got left in the tank? After missing that relatively easy green. got the chance to move to a career high ranking this week in Belfast currently at 27 he made 26 earlier this year made his crucible debut in 2023 caught them too thick and a chance for Pang Junju May have a red to the right middle, which would be easier. Yep, he's on it. Little screw back for the black. Come on. Got a very action and doesn't make you feel as though he's in control of the queue. Hardly any movement there. But he does play a good game. He's just missed a couple of pressure balls, hasn't he? Well, the reality is he could be 3 0 up, couldn't he? He had the chance Eight. in the second frame before Robertson got back in after Robertson had missed the black off its spot. And of course, just now with the green. Nine. Well, so far, his positional play has been spot on. And this little break that he's got. If that green was affecting him, it could have been the wrong side of the blue there very easily. We often say that strength of mind is just 14. as important as being able to pop the balls recover from adversities that go on in the game. Fifteen. Just got a couple of reds left. He could go into them here. If he played the red, that's above and to the right of the black. He'd be on the red to the left corner. I just think he, he he went into them. He didn't have a plan. He just hoped that he was going to be on one. 
No intentions of it in the right red. And it's not on an easy one. That red to the yellow pocket, very tough. But he shouldn't leave anything if he misses it. Nothing easy, anyway. Oh, he hasn't missed it. A great recovery shot. And listen to the crowd. That's a, a great recovery Good. shot. Red to the yellow pocket. <clears throat> but he's left himself with a tough one now. Cue ball close to the cushion. Plenty of pressure on this one. Again, well played. And that little rub on the red has kept that cue ball away from the cushion. Can he just about get the red? Thirty-five. Good recovery. Good. That was missable. Another very good pot on the black, forcing the black into the pocket. Forty game position on this red. Forty three. at the possibility of a plant there. Not dead set to the pocket. And that's not the best position to be in to play the plant. 48. Wanted to be straight on this. Uh, they're both difficult. I think it'd have been tempted to go into the reds there. been a very impressive bounce back so far from missing the green in the previous frame when he was poised for 2-1 but he's got to keep it going now Pang. Yeah good shot. Temperament is pivotal if you're to thrive at the top of the game in this sport and he's showing that in spades at the moment could have won the first three frames so with that in mind vital he shares the session and he's looking good to do that now 56 nice little cannon there to leave himself on this red 
57. Now, he's done all the hard work. He's just a couple of reds away. I'm making a great reply to that green that he missed. Sixty-four. Well, this is the green he missed, and this could really have done some psychological damage because he just knocked in that great yellow. It was a golden chance to pinch the frame from Robertson, who then punished him with 65. that terrific little clearance of the pink via the long-range blue, but Pang has hit back impressively here. And just the black needed. And impressively is the right word, isn't it? 72. Two snookers required. But he could do with another red. Because he won't give in. Yep, and that seals that this frame. 73. Well, there's no prizes for what's going to be discussed in the dressing room. Yeah, the green that he missed. That'll be a big talking point. But to forget about that, and he has done. He's forgotten about that. This frame has proved it. Great strength of mind to do this after missing that green. Most people would have been in bits. 77. Neil Robertson made a safety error at the start of this frame. And it's cost him dear. He was threatening to really get a grip on things when he got in early. Uh, another great positional shot from Pang. Determined to try and make a century of his own. 80. Not easily ruffled, Pang jung -ju. With already some eye-catching results against the best in the world, including this week Pang against Luca Brussel. That red eludes him with it the century, but he won't be bothered about that. An excellent response to missing the green. A fascinating quartet of frames, but we're none the wiser as to who's to make the semi after four of a possible nine here in Belfast. All to play for after the interval. Robertson and Pang locked at two each. Now, last night, Judd Trump did battle with Barry Hawkins, and this is how the four times and defending champion had the last word.